Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new SyncWave 400. Um, we got this new demo unit that came in. It is a complete TIG Runner package, so with the wireless football, so this thing came complete. It came with your cylinder, cart, cooler, uh, regular flow meter, TIG torch, wireless foot pedal, ground clamp, all your handles. I did not install them yet. Uh, comes with a chain for the cylinder. I mean, everything that you need to just start. We actually just put a plug on it. It does not come with a plug, so you can have your own plug. And remember, this thing is single phase and three phase now. So prior to the uh, the older, this thing replaces the uh, Syncowave 350 LX model, which is a transformer style machine, and it only accepted single phase. This is an inverter style machine, so now it's taking on three phase too. So if you always had that holding you back, you couldn't buy the Syncowave 350 LX because of uh, it would only accept single phase power and you have three phase this new unit will take three phase so just kind of a new upgraded thing uh they do use inverter technology um very nice machine uh it welds very nice uh what we're going to talk about in this video is just basic setup on the front panel uh the wireless foot pedal and then we're going to weld with it and we're going to see how it functions so let's dive into the panel first um, so in the in the setup of this unit we put our wireless foot pedal, comes with a wireless remote here, and all you had to do was take this piece out, came with batteries, pop it down in there, and then it's ready to rock. So it's already been synced to your, mo your remote receiver here. Flip this thing on, it fires up. I put a gallon, I think it called for about a gallon and a quarter gallon and a half of coolant, so we put that in there. Uh, turned it on and it was on AC TIG, so obviously this pops up. AC TIG, when you hit, you're at 150 amps, you hit the menu button, you can choose your balance. You can go up to 80% or you can go all the way down, there's 60, and then ball. So this thing has a new ball function, so it balls the tungsten for you. So basically what you do is you turn on ball, hit the pedal, it'll ball the tungsten, and then you pick, you turn them back to whatever percentage you want. Hit that again. Post flow is just auto. Typically it gives you one second for every 10 amps that you're running. Uh, so, could be 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how much amperage you're running. Hit that again, but you can, I'll, you can change that. You can adjust it yourself, or you can just turn it off too if you don't want to have post flow. We're going to turn it on auto, go to 150. If you hit pro set, what pro set does is give you the pro set feet or uh, parameters that Miller recommends for running at 150 amps. So if you look here, balance is at 68%, that's their pro set. Obviously the post flow is auto, that's their pro set, which gives you that, what I said, one second for every 10 amps of welding current. Hit menu again, we're back to 150. Let's switch over to DC TIG, high freak. 150 amps again, same thing, post flow auto. Now remember, you can't pick your balance here because it's not on AC, so we can only just change our post flow. Now I did, you got ProSet on that. You go DC, take pulse, high freak, peak. Now you get in the menu, pulses per second. We can go to, turn that off. We can go to Pro, ProSet's one, but we can do 150 when we turn ProSet off. I think we can go down, let's see. Oh yeah, you can go down into the decimal digits too, all the way to 0.1. Kind of unique. Hit that again, post flow again is auto. You turn it off, turn it off menu again peak current and then you can set your what you want on your peak on the pulses that's what that's for back to that and if you hit the auto set it gives you all your pro set feet set settings on that depending on what amperage you're running and also this unit you can stick weld with it so you flip over to DC stick we're at 110 amps it'll go all let's just see 300 amps on stick. You just come back down. Basically, you can adjust your dig setting. So we're at 30% of the dig, and that's that's all you can adjust on your menu on that. Pretty, I mean, front and forth. It's pretty simple to use. Um, the machine basically just tells you what what you can set it to. There's not much that you can mess up on this thing. Um, it's not. And if you're familiar with the Dynasty series where there's all the uh, all the different menu options, it is not like that. It's a lot simpler to use, um, and it does weld pretty good. Now, I know in the current 
recent video that I did, there was a SyncWave 300. It's very similar. Actually, the interface is identical. This just has 100 more amps output. So 100% duty cycle at 250 amps, and then at 400 amps, you got a 20% duty cycle on this unit. But once again, less power draw because it's not a transformer style machine. So that's why it's better than the old 350LX. And you can go single and three phase. So pretty unique. Let's, uh, let's flip it up to AC here. We'll just run their pro set. I got some eighth inch aluminum over there. Let's run a couple of beads here. All right, so let's give this thing a shot. We got our gas on, we're gonna use the pro set settings on this thing and uh, give her a shot here. just their pro set stuff so I didn't touch the balance or auto flow or anything like that um, let's give it a shot on uh, trying out this balling the tungsten so as you can see I got a flat piece of tungsten in there let's just see what the auto ball does on this thing let's go on the ball setting it gave you a perfect ball on that setting so what you do is you get your material and just hit it and it creates that nice ball go back and go back to, just go back to the pro set you're good to go so now you got a nice ball on there Aluminum pretty good. Let's change it over to a DC pulse here and give it a shot. Now let's change this out here. We've got pulses per second. Let's just do let's just do five. So everyone, you can all see it when it's pulsing. It's kind of it's pretty cool. We'll do pro set.
pulse in a second. Pretty awesome. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard on your eyes when you're watching it, but it's not too bad. Let's just try. Let's try to. We're going to kick the hand for something. Sweet. Now, why would we want a pulse weld? Maybe for lower heat input, thinner material. Um, stainless is very popular with pulse because it looks sweet. But two, I doubt anybody's ever going to run down that low, but it's still pretty cool to try it out and just check it out. And what I like about it is you can dab at each pulse, so you're making, like, stacking the dimes perfectly. Now, one thing I do want to point out on this machine is I forgot to show you something on this on the menu. So. When you're in this menu, you have the menu and pro set. If you hold down menu, it goes into a user menu. So you can do start, which is high freak, which is what we want, or you can do lift arc, which is high freak. Click toggle again. You pick your tungsten diameter. So I'm running 332nd tungsten. You can run 1 8, 532, 1.0, 1.6, 2.4, 3.24, 040, 116. So you can go through them. So it'll run, but that. That setting is really important because if you're running 1 16th and you have it set up for 8th inch, the machine thinks you're running 8th inch tungsten and it's going to change its parameters a little bit. Next one is RMT, which is your remote control setup. So standard or hold. Standard is on, off, and hold is it's like a four tap. You on, on, off, and then the thing stays on and you have to click it again to turn it off. And then your preset, your pre flow, which is your gas flow on your front end so when you hit that pedal you got 0.2 seconds and you can change that i forget i mean it'll go goes up to some 25 seconds so you don't need that much pre-flow i'm going to turn it down back to two and that's all you got now to get out of that menu hold down you're done very cool machine easy to use really um if you got i mean really it comes with a nice manual um, it comes with a whole pro set card on it. it. Tells you how to lay it everything out, how to set everything up. Uh, very easy to set up. I mean, like I said, I just we pulled everything out of the box just today, hooked it all up, dumped coolant in it, and it was ready to rock and roll. Had to put a plug on it. Um, another thing on that plug side of things, it has auto line, so any kind of power they're using, whether it's single or three phase, 208, 230, 460, it, it links automatically to it. It knows, recognizes the power input. Um, all in all, very nice machine. Uh, I'd recommend it if you were used to the old 350LX, this might be the perfect replacement for it. So if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We're going to link this machine and all the stuff that comes with it and all the pricing down below. Uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.